How's it going, everybody? Stellar here again. I just wanted to bring up this uh, neat little feature in Hard Ops. It's called uh, Dice and Twist 360, and they're very neat features. Uh, you can do some pretty crazy stuff with it. Uh, so I, I just wanted to jump in and do that today. So the nifty thing is, is we can take just a uh, normal cube here. I'm going to go ahead and apply the scale. And what we're going to do is just we're going to make something pretty simple here. Nothing too crazy. You know, just have fun with the shape like we always do with uh, box cutter and hard ops here. I'm going to draw in some uh, geometry and everything. Just have a good old time with this really uh, until we get like a good shape going here. Uh, so right now we're just going to do something random. Uh, if you're following along you can always do, you know, whatever it is you want to do. You don't have to exactly follow me. But right now we're just getting a decent little shape going. I wanted to have fun with this uh, and explain some really neat features that I really quite care for as far as uh, this goes. So I like the way this looks so far. I'm going to go ahead and, and C sharp it just to apply all of my booleans there. And then I'm going to add a bevel to it so we can kind of see what's going on. So if I press Q here and go to the hard ops menu and we go to uh, mesh tools, I always get them mixed up. Uh, we go down to mesh tools and we go to dice. We're just going to add some supporting geometry here and if you realize whichever which way uh, you're hovering over it, it changes color and changes which direction these support lines are going to go in. So I'm going to scroll wheel and add a decent amount. Nothing too crazy. And I went ahead and clicked to send it through. So if we look at this mesh now, then it's got some pretty crazy looking uh, geometry going on, which is perfectly fine. It's exactly what we want to happen. I'm just going to get rid of those because they're no longer needed in our lives. And I'm just going to apply the mirror, but we'll leave the bevel, bevel there. Pardon my French. So now what we can do, press Q again, we'll go down to Mesh Tools and do Twist 360. This is a really helpful feature and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. If we want this to be even bigger, we can. So as you can tell, we got kind of a nice little uh, twist going, but it's got a bunch of lines and I'm not too happy about that. So it's a super easy fix. All we're going to do, I'm going to control Z and get rid of that. And I'm going to take these faces here and we're just going to delete the faces. So that way we have it pretty much open on both sides. And if we go down to twist 360 again, once we bring that up, you'll see that those lines are gone. So Another cool feature, if we were to go ahead and just press Q, go to Mesh Tools and down to Smart Apply, it'll apply everything for you pretty much here. And it applied it well too. So I'm going to press A and press Q and just mark everything, clear off the sharp edges. And we're going to press Q and just do Sharpen it again real quick. And that just recalculates it. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go in and see if everything is connected, which it should be. Uh, we can always select everything and go to Mesh and just do Clean Up, Merge by Distance, just to see if there's any verts merged, which in this case there is not. And that's pretty much what we're left with. You can do some pretty wild and crazy stuff with it. I highly recommend, you know, just jumping in and having some fun with it. Uh, you can do it with all shapes. Um, I like to do it with a cube because I've had uh, better results with it, but you can have a lot of fun with it and it ends up you know, taking away too much of my time sometimes because I just, I have a lot of fun doing it and uh, you know, it's always a good learning thing just to figure out what tools are what and you know what their functions are and everything so you know I, I can't recommend enough to people always just to you know go out and have fun with the tools they purchase uh, be it box cutter or any other tool really you want to be familiarized with the stuff that you're using and if you don't know what you're doing then it's always a good way to find out what you're doing um, you know I'll always tell people to have fun with whatever it is they're doing uh, because you learn a lot from it honestly. I'm going to go ahead and add a bevel here. Probably don't want to do too much as this face is a little bit too crazy. 
I'll go ahead and sharpen it just so it's smoothed over a bit. And we'll just go ahead and do uh, Smart and Apply here. Go down to Mesh Tools, Smart Apply. And then what we'll do, we'll, we'll just do uh, Dice here. And I'll go ahead and dial that back a bit. We don't need that much geometry going on. And if you ever get this issue here, what I recommend is just grab that and dissolve the edge and do the same on the other side because sometimes dice does have a little bit of issues when it comes to that but it's not a big deal and usually it's fixable with something simple as that so once we got our supports in there to allow it to go around a curve I'm gonna go back in there and do twist 360 here and you can do some pretty crazy stuff so I hope that was helpful. It's a, a quick little tip. Um, I like to use it when concepting stuff and doing something crazy really fast. Uh, it's always helpful to have these neat little tools. I like to go over uh, different options and everything that we have here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was informative and maybe you guys could use this in the future for creating something awesome. And if you do, please do let me know in my comments. Uh, I do read them and I do try to reply to everyone's questions and everything like that. So I do appreciate you guys watching. It helps out a lot. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.